Now at five, a terror attack averted. Three Americans are being hailed as heroes after they helped take down a gunman on a train in France. Good evening, I'm Peter Daft. And I'm Andrea Fujii. Two of the three Americans who most likely saved the lives of their fellow passengers are speaking out about the chaotic moments. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo joins us live from the newsroom with more. Christy? Andrea, three people were injured in yesterday's train attack, but no one was killed. The Americans who stopped the attack say they knew they had to act. Cell phone video shows the man suspected of opening fire on a high speed train in Belgium hogtied on the ground. Three American childhood friends, a French citizen, and a British businessman all helped to disarm the gunman. I woke up to basically people ducking, and then I was like, why is everybody ducking? And then I turned around to look, and he had just entered the, the gunman entered the car with the AK. Anthony Sadler's friend, Air Force serviceman Spencer Stone, jumped up, quickly followed by the third American, National Guardsman Alec Scarlato. Spencer got to the guy first. Uh, grabbed the guy by the neck and I grabbed the handgun. The gunman fought back and the AK-47 went off, but the men were quickly able to get him under control. We were scared for sure, but I mean, adrenaline mostly just took over because, I mean, I didn't even have time to think. The gunman slashed stone with the knife. He was released from a French hospital today. The train was traveling from Amsterdam to Paris and stopped in northern France after the attack. The suspect had boarded the train in Brussels. Investigators have confirmed he is 26-year-old Ayub al khazani a Moroccan who allegedly belonged to the radical Islamist movement and was on a French security watch list. He is now being questioned by French counterterrorism police. As for the three American heroes, they've been invited to meet the French president at his presidential palace so he can thank them for their quick actions. Live in the newsroom, Christy Pajardo, CBS 2 News. Andrea, back to you in the studio.